Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and we're going to go through the pro uh, final round of the Sharuba Springs 9-hole cup tournament. So I'm going to speed through this. Uh, we have a couple drops here to show you. Uh, we got drops that'll get you to a minus 14. Um, I didn't shoot that as I couldn't put it all together on one account. But between my two accounts, a few drops here to go over and that can get you to at least a minus 14. And maybe you'll drop a couple of these shots that I miss. But at least you're going to get to see every, sing every single wind angle out there. So let's go. Hole number one. Hole number one, 10% elevation here. We're going to just try to get the ball from the bottom part of the fairway to the top part of the fairway. This is a lot better wind than they gave us in the qualifying round to where we had a headwind. Now we get tailwind, so we don't have to worry about pushing up to max or anything like that. We can just take a normal controlled overpower shot. And we'll be good to go. You can see here I'm using about half a ball of curl to the left. Now remember on this hole, in your golf bag you want to put your runner in there for your short iron. And then you want to put your grizzly in there as well. Um, so remember, those are the club combinations you want. You want to have the runner in and you want to have the grizzly in. That way you can find this uh, minimum distance of your grizzly. will help you out. This shot is played at minus 10% elevation. I pulled this one at minimum distance numbers. And we get this thing to roll nicely, dead center into the cup, starting off the pro division with the eagle. All right, so now we're going to shot number two. Shot number two here, I was going to try to play it uh, straight up, as I don't really like the tailwind blowing from right to left, um, just because you'd probably have to use some curl um, on, the, on the shot, I would guess, or you would probably have to line up really, really close to the rough line in order to make that shot work. So I tried to play it straight up here, and as you can see, I was getting caught in between clubs. Um, if you want to play this approach to take it conservative and not be aggressive, then you're gonna not wanna play at the Kingmaker. You need to play with like a power two or a power one ball. That way you don't get caught in between clubs like I did. I should have swapped out the ball, but then I didn't wanna run out of time. So I just took an underpowered shot trying to um, you know, trying to get lucky there. But I did play the rough bump on my other account uh, just to see what would happen. And the thing that I don't like about the rough bump here is I knew I was going to have to get, you know, close to the right-hand side to make this shot work. Um, and kind of like I said in the qualifying round, if you hit a great ball here, uh, you're going to be dead when it comes to, to clipping this rough. There's just really no room for air in this kind of wind. I hit a great shot to the left here, and I'm still way off. So I just wanted to show you that um, I actually ended up making that shot to save the hole. But regardless, I wanted to show you the dangers of the rough bump if you hit a great shot. So, you know, play it however you want. Um, I'd probably just play that one very safe, which is normally the opposite of how I play in tournaments. But I think for hole number two, I just don't like the tailwind blowing in the opposite direction in the crosswind that we would want, I would just say, you know, play that one straight up and um, power two ball. All right, hole number three, uh, pretty straightforward here. Definitely a very tough par five, but we're going with just with a full top spin shot, and you can use whatever club you want. You can use this, you can use a Thor's hammer, you can use a big topper. It's just whatever you're going to be most comfortable with. You just want to drive the ball up the fairway, which is going to leave you here for shot number two. Shot number two will be played at 10% elevation. Make sure you pack a powerful wood club. Here I'm going with max top spin, a couple bars of side spin to the left. I do push back up to max to get my distance back. And you can kind of see there I'm using about half of a ball of curl. I even hit a great shot to the left. But still, ultimately, there's a lot of fairway to work with here, so this shot works out just fine. 
I do play this shot uphill. Um, to me, this shot is uphill, so I do play shot number three at minus 10% elevation. I was trying to do the full top spin shot, okay, with the, with the wedge. But you can see here, my ball guy line is very inconsistent. There's a very glitchy green. So anytime that happens to me, one thing that I try to do, and this may make you a better player at the game, is I try to always bounce on the fringe and then go towards the pin. I think the fringe gives you a very consistent bounce rather than playing on the green. So if I ever get in a jam like that, I go from the fringe to the hole. And you can see here, we hit the pin and we get it in there for an eagle. So eagle on hole number three, tough par five for sure. All right, hole number five, I'm trying to go with my max backspin, um, full side spin to the left approach. I do have the grizzly in my bag, which is how I'm able to find the minimum distance of the sniper. So you see that here? Oops, sorry. I play this 25% elevation at minimum distance of my club. 25% at minimum distance with a power three ball and a, and a sniper is basically one for one with the wind. So 4.6 rings here. You can see here, I take a normal shot, and I thought I was going in the hole, but boy, we just barely um, end up to the right of the pin, and just a little bit short. So on this account, I tried to take a little bit of backspin off. So on this account, I went with almost full backspin, minus 0.2 bars. I went with a smidge of overpower too. I mean, just like as minimum overpower as you can do. And then I go, uh, I go a tad too long. So what do I learn from that? I think that we should just go with a max backspin shot, max side spin to the left. And then, um, so play it just like I did shot number one, except instead of doing a regular shot, you might be able to just add a very, very small amount of overpower and you might get that ball to drop for a hole-in-one. I do think that's a good shot to try to play, and it's very safe. You can't mess it up. Um, you're going to get the birdie no matter what, and then maybe you'll drop it in for a hole-in-one. Okay, hole number five. Made this one in the qualifying round. Um, was hoping to do the same here. Four top spin, two bars of side spin to the right. Got the orange ring on the rough line, playing 10% elevation. You see here I'm using curl. Just using the cur enough curl to make sure you don't land in the rough. Shot number two here, play with one of my least favorite clubs, the Grizzly. But at least it is accurate, but it just requires so many rings to pull. At least we did get a small wind here. As you can see, I'm going dead center into the hole. And basically here, I'm just using top spin. With about half a bar of side spin to the left, just getting myself lined up into the hole. Now, ultimately here, we miss by about a fourth of a green square. Need to take that left side spin off. I play at 0% elevation. Need to only use top spin and disregard the left side spin. All right. Hole number six, this is the same thing. You can use whatever club you're most comfortable with. Um, for me, I just I just unlocked the APOC 6. Um, so I wanted to use that. But you can do this with really any level APOC. If you're playing pro, you probably at least have at least an APOC 2 or 3. That would be completely fine. You can do this with a um, Thor's Hammer. You could do this with an extra mile. All we're doing is using top spin combined with left side spin, and we're just curling the ball. Now, as you can see there, I almost curled too much, which is why you could definitely do this shot with your extra mile. If that's the club that you prefer, you would just go max left curl with the extra mile and you'll be just fine. This brings us on to um, the second shot, which I play at minus 10% elevation. I do play the shot uphill. I used quite a bit of backspin combined with a little bit of side spin to the left. So as you saw there, it was five back, one and a half bars of left side spin. This ball just takes off on me. Really wasn't expecting it to play that fast. 
So we need to use more backspin um, on that hole. All right, we're going to the hole number seven. Hole number seven, we're playing this the same way uh, that we did in the qualifying round, which we are going from fairway to fairway. So you can see here, I went with almost full top spin minus one bar. I do push back up into max. I am not using full overpower. I'm using about half of a ball of overpower combined with about half of a ball of left curl. I do believe if you go full OP, um, you may just go too far. Here we do clip the rough and roll out, which is exactly what we are looking for. That brings us with a very easy shot to pin for shot number two, in which I play at no elevation. I am able to take the full top spin approach with the end bringer. So here, as long as I adjust my ele or as long as I adjust my rings correctly and hit perfect, the shot is going to fall every single time. Perfect ball, ball goes into the hole, just like it's supposed to for an extra eagle on hole number seven. That's a fun shot to take. I like that drive. Um, anytime we get to go with drives like that, I do find that pretty enjoyable. Okay, hole number eight. Hole number eight, I'm playing 20% at mid distance of my club. You can see here I'm using a little bit around like 2.3 bars of top spin, about 0.8 bars of side spin to the right. That was able to line me up into the hole with leaving myself in the fat part of the rough here. So you know, half of a ring to each side of room for a great shot. I don't believe this shot is near as uh, dangerous as hole number two is. You can see here we clip the rough and miss that by about half of a green square to the right, so just too much right side spin. I would probably try to take off as much right side spin as possible if I had another chance at that hole. All right, hole number nine. Uh, again, you can play this drive with whatever club you're most comfortable with. We're just looking for a lot of top spin, so extra mile nines, Thor's hammer, big top, or whatever you want. 10% elevation. I played it at max. Got to be careful you don't use any overpower because you don't want to hit the ball too far and clip that rough. And that would just kill you. And then, you know, we're going to play this one here. Again, 10% um, elevation with your horizon. And we roll onto the green. So I hope you find this helpful. Uh, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up button. And have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you.